What's going on you guys? What's up? You know I gotta say what to do. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having an incredible week. Um, today I'm just doing another really casual sit down chit chat video. It's a tea time if you're new to my channel. I used to do these actually a little bit more often but I've been so busy lately which I'll go into a lot of detail on that today. I've been working on a lot of new things involving you guys that I'm so excited for and have been so fulfilling for me that I truly think are gonna bring you guys back a lot of value. So I'm very excited in this video to share with you many things about many different topics in my life that I've been getting questions on so for tea time you guys just send me questions through Instagram or through snapchat I pull up some of the most frequently asked questions in this video and the purpose is just for you to get to know me a little bit better I like to make these videos like a little bit intimate you know just so you guys can feel really connected to the person that you're watching I love watching Q&A's and like deep life chats from other youtubers who I follow it makes me just feel a little bit more connected to who they are as a person and you can kind of see if you vibe with someone and that's someone that you want to support so yeah thank you for being here you guys know I really appreciate you I also did finally switch up my background a little bit in the past like two three videos I was getting a lot of comments of like girl your room is cute but you know Christmas was over like Two months ago, if I had it my way, I would keep Christmas decor up all the time, but I finally took down all the little trees today and just put up these little floral decorations from Home Goods. so I'm hoping this looks okay. Also, I guess this could answer like another tea time question. Some of you asked, what happened to my camera? So this is probably the fourth or fifth Sony A5100 that has been completely broken and demolished. Christian was so cute. He picked it up the other night in the kitchen and was holding it out like this, and he was like, hey guys! And he was trying to like vlog because he sees what I I do and he's just trying to copy me and he drops it flat on the like the lens face and once again I tried to turn it on it said cannot attach lens to camera please reattach and that just means it's totally busted you think my ass would know to purchase the uh, protection from Best Buy because I swear that's like the fifth one I've had and this is also how crazy I am even though that camera lens is so sensitive I'm just gonna rebuy it like I love that camera so much it's so light and so it's like so lightweight and really good for vlogging and it's got like the facial blur thing so it makes you look really good um, like it makes your skin pretty much look flawless and I just love that camera but yeah he broke it so today I'm filming this video on my new Canon my Canon 80D so the lighting and the quality and everything should look different like my face should look like flawless like super HD because this is definitely like the most expensive like sit down DSLR camera situation that I have so I figured I would just film on this today because I got it like two months ago and I've barely used it but yeah anywho let's jump into the tea time questions <sighs> I don't know why I feel like a little <sighs> shaky sometimes when I start to like talk about real shit. Okay. <sighs> you guys know I won't make you wait. Whatever I threw in the title, I always try to talk about first so y'all don't feel like it's clickbait or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, the title is real. I don't, oh gosh, like all of a sudden when I start talking about this, I feel like, <sighs> I don't know, like shaky or something. Uh, so yeah, if you've been following me for a very, very long time, you know I've been a single mom to Christian pretty much since he was born. Um, his dad and I were together for almost five years before that and then we just had a really what the heck I feel like weird talking about this uh, really rocky uh, relationship and breakup after that and then he started dating someone else and was really heartbroken that I wouldn't be with him and didn't want to come around because it was too heartbreaking and like he didn't want to just see Christian because he would be heartbroken that he couldn't have us both and whatever his pathetic honestly excuses were um, and he just peaced out and I tried contacting him multiple times as you guys know over the years never asked him for a cent for a penny he does not pay child support he does not see Christian he doesn't get Christian on the weekends anything like that and then very very recently he gosh this is weird I feel like I haven't talked about this in like a minute and I feel totally fine before I start recording and then I just feel like I don't know shaky or it's just weird to like bring this back up um okay uh, so yeah, recently um, he finally reached out to me again and wow, I don't know, I didn't think I would get like this weird talking about it. Um, it's hard, right? Because Christian is my everything. Oh my god. In every q and I start crying. I don't want to start crying right now. Christian is my world, right? He is all I have. I would do anything for that kid. I don't want anyone to ever come into his life who would not keep up their promises or who would leave or who would break his heart or... I don't know like we have such a good life going as it is and my family loves Christian so much and he's grown up without his dad that I know every kid needs that older male figure and that father figure but I don't know it's just I never thought he would reach out again so the fact that he did is very it's shocking and it's emotional and it's 
it's many things because I'm very protective of Christian, right? And I don't want to share too, too much about like what he said or anything like that. But he, I'll just say this. He admitted that he's very well aware that his life is lacking a huge, a huge portion of love. And like without Christian, his life, you know, has been, you know, pretty mediocre. And he realizes that he left one of the best things or the best thing in his entire life or that's ever happened to him. And I don't know, I was like thinking about how I'd bring this up in this video and I don't know why it gets me like choked up. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I do not know at this point. I will like keep you guys updated, I guess, but I'm also gonna keep some stuff private, of course. Um, but yeah, there was obviously a very, very long relationship there, a lot of emotions. And Christian is just my everything. I want the best for him. I only want people around him who love him, who are here to support him. And I just guess I didn't think I would have to deal with this because he hadn't reached out for so long and I kind of just thought, oh, that's just how it is type of thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's like weird. I feel like I can't breathe. Um, but yeah, I mentioned something really little the other day on Snapchat and everyone was like, oh my God, was it Christian's dad? So you guys know I keep it very transparent with you. The whole point of starting my YouTube channel was to document my journey as a single mom to building my social media empire and building my brand and being able to support Christian because I didn't get any money from him and I didn't have any like mental support from him or any like physical support on the weekends. Like I wanted to just document my life in being a young single mom and supporting Christian pretty much. So I don't know, just to have someone come back and say that they want to be a part of that, if any part. I mean, he's said this before and then peaced out before, so I can't really take his word too seriously. Um, but yeah, it's like just when you finally feel like you're in your own routine, you got your own thing going, you don't need anyone else for else for anything. Sometimes they just like swoop back in and I don't know, I feel, I guess I just feel choked up because it's very emotional for me. Um, but yeah, I guess I just want to throw that out there. Uh, the rest of it is just going to be private. Um, and then a lot of you are also asking for a tea time question if I'm dating Justin again. Justin is so, so sweet. He's the guy you saw at the beginning of my vlog where we took the kids to the trampoline park and like the rock climbing park. Um, his daughter, Audrey, and my son, Christian, are best friends. So I see them all the time. But no, we are not dating. He is an incredible guy. He always treated me and Christian extremely well. Um, I can't say anything like ever ended badly. He actually treated Christian like his own, which I really respect. Um, but that was like four years ago. We worked at Verizon together, so we met through that. And then I left Verizon to pursue YouTube and social media. Um, so we've just been kind of like friends, you know, like on and off. We didn't talk for a while. And now we just hang out all the time because the kids just love each other. So we know we're going to be like friends for life. Um, so he's really cool, but we're not dating. We did go on like a date with the kids, I guess, to like the rock climbing park, but we him and I are not dating. All right, so the next tea time question from Snapchat is when can you guys sign up for my Girl Boss Academy? So if you're a part, this just makes me like start cheesing. If you're a part of my Snapchat or my newsletter, you know that these signups are actually already open for the Instagram Masterclass. So I've been creating an Instagram Masterclass for you guys regarding everything I've learned about growing up an organic Instagram audience, attracting your ideal customer, turning your followers into sales, utilizing Instagram Live like a pro with confidence and with ease, collaborating with your favorite brands, other influencers, and I'm creating a YouTube masterclass. So these are basically video courses that I've created for you guys. And I'm actually running an early bird offer right now. So you get both of my eBooks, um, my first eBook, Reshaping Your Reality. The second one, which is not even sold to the public yet. Like no one has it. You'll be the absolute first to read it. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Being a Girl Boss. And you get my Instagram PDF all for free. So that's a $50 value. If you join my Instagram masterclass anytime between now and March 1st, I'm going to send you all three of those PDFs at no cost, just to thank you guys for being so amazing and supporting everything I do and supporting me during this launch month. You know, the Girl Boss Academy is something that probably like, I want to say like a year and like probably like a year ago is when I had the first original idea to do it. And I was actually talking to Amanda Bucci about it because she runs an influencer academy for all of her health coaches. And she was kind of telling me like how she runs that. And I was telling her like my vision for the Girl Boss Academy. So yeah, once I started having my own personal success on social media and on YouTube, and I started my Boss Babe series, and I started teaching back to you guys everything that I've learned throughout the past like two to four years on social media through all of my trial and error, I realized that it's so fulfilling for me to be in that teaching and that like mentor role and to help you guys grow up your own social media platforms and expand your business, be able to get your passion and your mission out to the world, be able to change other people's lives and give other people back more value in order to grow an engaged audience and to really increase your revenue. You have to know how to be very savvy on social media and be able to work the Instagram algorithm and the YouTube algorithm properly. So you're working smarter, not harder. And the amount of time that you're working every single day 
day, whether this is like a side job for you or you only have like two hours to work on it every night, you're able to implement the right strategies to actually grow your following the right way. So yeah, I put together the Girl Boss Academy and underneath that umbrella, we have the Instagram Masterclass where I teach you guys every single thing that I've learned within the past three years of growing up my following on Instagram, um, my entire following and all of my engagement is organic. I've never once paid for a shout out or for an ad and my entire course teaches you guys how to do the exact same and then I'm creating an entire YouTube course as well. Um, again, if you followed me for a while, you already know this because I talk about it like every month. I keep you guys updated on all the progress, but I'm just really excited to finally say that the Instagram masterclass just started. So you can sign up anytime. It's all self-paced. I'll have the link down below if you guys would like to sign up. Between now and March 1st, you'll get the early bird offer. So you get the discounted rate and you'll get all three of those other eBooks um, included for free, which is super cool. It's really cool for me and like, I don't know, I feel... <laughs> like choked up and emotional seeing it actually come to life just because I have been working on it for so, so long. And then the YouTube course is actually gonna launch next week. Yeah, I did announce it on Instagram yesterday and I already had a few of you guys sign up last night and I woke up to some DMs this morning that you're already so impressed with like the first module and you're already learning a lot. So I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting me. I have totally realized that my passion is helping other women and other boss babes grow up their tribe, expand their audience, generate more revenue, and just overall be able to support themselves and their family because that's truly what I feel like I've done in my business with Christian and there is really nothing more fulfilling. And it's like crazy too because if you Google social media coaching or social media growth courses, they're all like in the thousand dollars. And you guys know I started my channel being super budget friendly. I was working two jobs, could barely pay my rent. I would never ever come out with a program that was not affordable. Um, so I priced the Instagram masterclass at 249. I feel like you are getting three, four times that amount of value. I can't even tell you the amount of hours I put into the course and including you know all the ebooks and everything like that, I truly feel like you guys are going to get, I'm very confident that you're gonna get so much more value out of it. And I just feel really honored and like just fulfilled, I guess, that you guys would choose me as a mentor to help you expand your business. And I just wanted to say thank you. All right, so yeah, I'll probably make a, I know that was like a really long ramble. I just get so excited when I'm like passionate about something, you guys know, I chat forever. I'll probably make a full, a uh, different YouTube video all about the Girl Boss Academy and everything like that, but the link in the description will take you to the Instagram masterclass landing page and you can actually read every detail about what all the modules include, what's included in the program, everything like that if you want more info to find out if it's right for you. And I also do have a payment plan on there. I feel like $249 is already priced pretty cheap, uh, but I do know that a lot of my following, like I said, are single moms or you're in college, so if that's you, I got you. All right, next question. How do I find the motivation to keep going on my weight loss journey, to wake up every day, keep hitting the gym six days a week, and stay really consistent with my calories and my macros? I probably get this question every single day on Snapchat, especially because on Instagram right now too, I've been posting on my Insta story every morning when I work out. I'll post little clips of the exercises that I'm doing and I find that keeps me really accountable to give it 100% in the gym because I know I'm being filmed and I know that you guys are watching my form and wanting to try these exercises on your own. Um, so I think having you guys to keep me accountable has, it's like so weird because you tell me that my fitness videos motivate you, but your guys' comments and your encouragement and your happiness in seeing me get healthy in turn motivate me, which is really, really cool. And like, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Honestly, I think my motivation is just seeing my progress, knowing that I wanna be so much healthier, not only physically, like I can't deny it. Of course, I wanna look better and feel sexier. And you know, eventually when I am in a relationship, like I wanna look good, of course. I don't think that's vain to say, I can totally admit that. Um, but I wanna feel healthier. I know personally, I've been 30 pounds more overweight than I am now and I felt like there's no word to describe it. So disgusting, sluggish. I went through a whole phase with binge eating. If you guys want a video on how I fully overcame binge eating, let me know. Um, there is a difference between binge eating and just overeating now and then, which I still totally do sometimes and is normal, but I haven't had like a full on, let me eat everything in the house, like insane binge. I wanna, why am I like out of breath? <sighs> this is a real, real intense tea time today. It's hot in here. Um, I haven't had a binge in like years and that's crazy and I would be very interested to share with you guys everything I've actually learned about the brain. Not just about emotions but about habitual patterns and learning how to retrain your brain to end that habit. And I can say 100% with confidence it's not something you have to suffer with forever. But I think personally just seeing progress in my body every week and feeling so much better and having the mental clarity reaffirms and lets me know that what I'm doing is working and that if I just stay consistent with it the progress will still keep coming. Um, and actually I'm on what is it? 
the third or fourth day of my third week in my cut and I'm down like six and a half pounds. So I'm feeling so much better. My Lulu's the other day were like falling off at the gym and I was so happy because I'm like leaning down, but I was like, okay, these pants were like $110. Now I'm gonna have to freaking buy a new pair, but I know it's like a good problem to have. But I think if you can just push through the first 30, 45 days till you really see that progress, and then as soon as you notice, you know, the scale go down or your body fat percentage go down or you pull up your jeans and they're falling off, you're gonna be like, this is working. Like, I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, so, my camera says I've been recording for 22 minutes. So, I feel like we're gonna cut off this tea time there. Sometimes I'm able to answer like 20 questions, like rapid fire. Sometimes I'll just pick three or four and I'll really expand on them like I did today. So I hope that was okay with you guys. I hope you are cool with it and like appreciative that I try to be really transparent on anything that I can unless something is like too 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 personal I really do try to share my real life with Christian and with relationships anything I go through I want you to know that you can come to my channel and if I've been through anything that I will tell you how it was 100% anything I like get done it's so funny the other day on Instagram okay for real though why am I like out of breath today someone was like you got a nose job and I was like have you ever been on my YouTube channel I'm so close with my audience and like you guys are so positive back to me and you make me feel so safe about talking about anything I was like a bitch would gladly let people know if I got a nose job because I would want to be a resource you know for you if you want to get that done but no I've never had a nose job I know that was like way off topic but anywho just with everything with like my son's dad and stuff there's obviously certain things I want to keep private but at the same time, I do want to just be as transparent like on this vlog as possible because that's why I created my channel. I don't know, just to kind of show you guys like real life, single mom, young female entrepreneur, businesswoman, everything like mixed together if that makes sense. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you if you stayed and listened to this whole jibber jabber about all areas of my life and you're generally interest genuinely interested. Can I talk? Thank you so much. You guys know I really appreciate you. If you could please give this video, just give it a like for me. If you don't have time to leave a comment, I get it. We're all busy, right? We got lives. Just throw it a thumbs up for me. It'd be very appreciated. I'll leave the link down below for my Girlboss Academy website. I would love to have your support on that. And my camera just died, so here we are back an hour later. I think I was just saying goodbye and thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I am posting a progress picture tonight on my Instagram from the beginning of my cut versus like three weeks in if you want to see some body progress and a little caption about what I've been doing, what exactly I've been sticking to. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching this tea time. I love you guys. Please be sure to subscribe down below. Check out my Girl Boss Academy website if you're interested in growing your social media and growing your business. And I love you guys. I'll see you next time.